came to apologize. For what? You came to me earlier, you asked me for help with your girls, and I gave you the runaround. Well, you had to disclose potential drawbacks. No, it doesn't change my decision. No, don't be decision. decent right now. Let me confess and feel guilty. <laughs> okay, go on. Molly went to Windermere earlier, and I told her not to, but she went anyway. I'm not following. I, I'll get to it. Hold on a second. So, Windermere's been empty for months, right? And and there, there may or may not be some intruder running around. There's tunnels that go on for miles. She could have gotten lost. It was potentially very dangerous. Is Molly okay? She's grounded, but otherwise unharmed. Well, you must be relieved. So, in the water taxi on the way home, I thought how grateful I was to know that my daughters were safe, which made me think about you and how worried you are that your girls could be implicated in a criminal investigation. I then thought about everything that you have done for me, how supportive you've been, and, and I hesitated when you asked me for help, and I should have said yes right away, so I'm saying yes now, all right? I will defend your girls, no matter what. Well, I don't know if they're going to even need a lawyer, but I'm happy that they'll have the best. Give me a dollar. Thank you. Now you're covered by attorney-client privilege. Now tell me why you think Robin or Maxie might have killed Lisa Niles. At first I was more concerned about Maxie. Well, unfortunately that's understandable because she does tend to get herself into trouble and she does have a little issue with the truth, I'm sorry. Exactly. She lies when she doesn't even have to. It's kind of a reflex action. Mm. But she's more impulsive than Robin, you know. She, she arrived late on the boat and it would be like her to see Robin and Lisa arguing, grab a wrench, hit Lisa, panic, you know, and pretend like it never happened. If that did happen, you need to get her to come forward now because it's going to be better for her. I don't know if Maxie killed Lisa, but she might be covering for someone. Who, Robin? Until last night, I never thought it would be possible. Wait, 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 what happened last night? I went by the house, saw the light on. Patrick told me she went to the uh, footbridge over at Blackstone Canyon. I mean, it was a place of special significance. She and Stone spent a lot of time there. It was the anniversary of his death. Okay. That sounds reasonable. What? I thought, I thought we would talk, you know, and, and we could... We could remember Stone, but... Robin was very distraught. Of course she was distraught. That was her first love. And Alexis, I know my niece, okay? She, she was frightened. She was in despair. She was saying things that didn't make sense. Did she say anything about Lisa? Many times, several times. At one point she said, whoever killed Lisa, it was in self-defense. Did it sound like a confession? She sidestepped it, okay? I mean, claimed that whoever killed Lisa, it couldn't have been murder because of all the pain she put everyone through. That uh, whoever did it was protecting themselves. I see now why you want my help. Look, I don't know. I don't know if Robin actually killed Lisa, okay? But she's keeping a secret. And it's eating her up inside. <laughs>